Hi, my name is Bryce Waymeyer, and I'm a master's student at the University of Wyoming Department of Plant Sciences. I want to talk a little bit about my work with tall fescue, which is a forage grass species that is known to be both cold and drought tolerant. Um, this experiment is meant to identify tall fescue lines that are capable of sustainably producing forage and also potentially biofuels with low input costs in a Wyoming climate. Um, grasses are important for more than just forage and rangeland. Of course, uh, good grasses are going to give us happy cows, but high quality grasses are also going to be important for horticultural uh, applications like in your parks and in your golf courses, baseball fields, things like that. Um, and tall fescue is a good, good species uh, for a number of different reasons. Um, it performs well in all across the nation, um, as well as into the northern parts of Canada. Um, it grows in poor soils, low water conditions, high altitudes, and low temperatures. Um, these are things that have contributed to sustainability and high profitability. Um, if you don't have high input costs, you're able to have uh, increased outputs. Um, and as I said, that increased output is going to um, increase profitability overall. Um, so what we're looking at is we're trying to combine these natural traits um, in terms of drought tolerance and uh, nutrient um, use efficiency um, to maximize the economic impacts um, that can be acquired through use of tall fescue. Um, we want to use the lowest amounts of water, fertilizers, and maintenance as possible, um, and this is going to help us select the most profitable lines and breed for future cultivars um, usable in a Wyoming situation. Um, because of these lower inputs, we're wondering if we can potentially use uh, tall fescue as a cellulosic ethanol um, feedstock. Um, this would help take some of the some of the stress off of our corn producers. Um, corn is difficult to cultivate for ethanol because of its high um, requirements of fertilizers and water um, and these requirements re reduce your sustainability um, as an ethanol biofuel. Not to mention your reduction in cultivatable land for food production. Um, so again, we're hoping that by utilizing um, a more efficient crop, we can increase the sustainability of biofuel production. Um, many of the biofuel crops that are proposed, uh, such as algae and switchgrass, um, are not able to perform well in our climatic conditions. It is for this reason that we are looking at using tall fescue uh, to offset some of these um, burdens on our corn producers. Um, so thank you all for taking the time to watch this. Uh, I know I went a little bit more than three minutes, but um, I can imagine you've got 30 seconds to spare. So anyway, thanks again.